Amy Forsyth has the story for us, Amy. The city of Oceanside and SDG&E decided not to bury these high voltage wires because it would have exceeded their budget and would have required digging a very large trench through heavily populated areas. SDG&E says the new line is replacing the existing 69,000 volt transmission cable that will be able to keep up with the growth in the area. It will operate the same voltage as the old one, but it'll have bigger cables and the spokeswoman says it'll be able to keep up with power hungry households and businesses. Some people aren't sure about the switch to the big overhead cables because of safety concerns and long term goals for undergrounding cables. I imagine the people in the Oceanside are very used to seeing the poles in that particular location. Now, of course, the poles will be a little bit taller and they'll be steel. But the galvanized steel is helpful because it's very close to the coast and, and it's going to be able to withstand the, the typical sea air. The power line replacement project is costing an estimated $7.5 million. The new metal poles are replacing the old wooden ones that stretch five miles from Highway 76 to south of Highway 78 at College Boulevard. I prefer the metal over the wood. It's, uh, it's better looking. Uh, it's, they can put them up higher put the wires up, up above the ground higher. Uh, I don't know if you heard about the a magnetic field that people were afraid of. Well, my house is surrounded with wires. So uh, the higher the better for me. Although these power lines were not installed underground, workers are working on undergrounding smaller cables in other sections of the city. Donovan says a majority of the project has already been completed and workers are expected to finish this project by the end of next month. From the newsroom, Amy Forsyth, NBC7 San Diego.